Um, on a night which is, can be a happy night in that you're offering people new contracts, it can also be a desperately hard night because you're maybe delivering information to people about a new contract not being offered. And I'll talk a wee bit more about that in a minute. But I've got to say that last evening uh, was the proudest night uh, in respect of international football uh, that I've ever had as, as a manager. I remember in my playing time we had obviously Jory Dunlop, uh, Mark McGacky, Lee Doherty were in and around the international team. Um, during my tenure uh, we had Peter, Peter Thompson, Michael Galt, Alan Manis, which was great. But to see Alan Blaney, uh, Robert Garrett and Jimmy McGrew uh, start uh, was fantastic and I'd love someone to tell me have there ever been three Linfield players uh, start a, a, an international game. Um, I happened to be down uh, doing some work for Santanta TV. I was a studio anal analyst and I think uh, I blurbed and blurbed and blurbed all night about the three of them. I was so proud. So I don't know whether you'll pick this up, but well done Alan. Excellent. Second half in particular, some great saves. Uh, Jamie and Robert, your energy, your ability on the ball, um, you didn't look out of place at all. And to the three of you, I'm really proud of you. Well done. Now over to the, the business side of things. Um, and some good news, and, and then, as I say, some, some sad news for, for the players involved. Uh, good news is uh, Stuart Alice has re-signed. Uh, William Murphy has re-signed. Uh, Noel Bailey has re-signed. Chris Lindsay has re-signed. Uh, all in one year contracts and I'm pleased about that. Um, I think they've got a, you know, a lot to offer, um, so I'm pleased. Uh, Damien Curran has signed for two years. Um, probably a number of factors, number of performances, age, dictate the length of contract. Uh, the one difference is that Damien now becomes a, a part-time player. Um, as I say, the, just the, the financial implications of having so many full-time players in this economic climate uh, dictates that really our, our full-time uh, number of full-time players you know going to have to be reduced uh, significantly but I'm absolutely delighted that, that Damien has agreed to, to stay with us particularly for two years um, no doubt that you know he played tremendously well uh, it's funny that even Michael O'Neill who I was with last evening uh, manager of Shamrock Rovers was for singing his praises and how well he played so great to have of Damien uh, signing uh, sign for us. So I'm pleased with that business, very pleased with that business. Um, updates in terms of Chris Casement and, and Peter Thompson. Um, obviously would love both lads uh, to be with us uh, next year. They're in a situation, they're both on loan and really it's totally out of our hands at the moment. Um, we certainly have spoken to uh, both players clubs a little bit more difficult with Peter's situation at Stockport because of all of the politic uh, that's going on with the um, administration and new owners and what have you. We have made it clear that we would obviously love them here but we have no update and it's really very much out of our hands. It's a wee bit of a difficult situation we find ourselves in, particularly when you consider that 21st of June is the day that you've got to be registered for Europe um, and I just don't know really what where we stand so that's a little bit of a frustration for us um Aidan O'Kane um Aidan solid solid servant of the club has been with us I think now nine years uh, he's only played seven times last year not his fault a lot of us obviously dictated through injury um but at this time we've put Aidan on the transfer list he has a year of his contract remaining um so it's, we're not sure where, where that will go, but um, as I say, Aidan's on the transfer list. And two players who, as I say, their seasons have been decimated by injury. In fact, um, Johnny Harkness uh, has agreed, mutually agreed, that really Johnny needs to go and so his contract, his third year of his contract will be cancelled. And uh, Johnny's free to go to, to Pastures New. I wish him well. Um, you know, I remember I was a 16-year-old doing fantastically well uh, before going to England. 
I was very excited about him coming back, but his career has been blighted with injuries and um, he's fit now and I hope and wish him all the very best. Um, but Johnny will be leaving us. Uh, Connor Hagan, first year here was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, played tremendously well. And if he had repeated that for him this year, then we would have been sitting talking about another contract. But it's simple. Um, you look at appearances and then you look at what money the club are spending. And I'm, I'm tasked with the duty of, of giving recommendations about um, players. And uh, Connor was one of those who unfortunately uh, wasn't about ability. It was simply about his non-availability. Injury, and so he has left the club. So that's us up to date. Um, we start back the pre season 21st of June, um, so not very long. Um, we start all over again. Um, we have obviously will continue to look to see how we, we can strengthen the squad. Um, we have no news in that. Um, so thanks very much indeed. Your support this year was immense. Um, to end up with a double, paradise. Absolute paradise. I still don't think I've come down. Um, but I know come the 21st of June, it'll be condemned to the history books and we'll have to start all over again. Take care, God bless, thank you for your support. Fortune always and has favoured the brave.